here's the after on the parcel shelf. I took down, dropped off yesterday, picked up today. Old grills, uh, vents in the back are back in. That's reused, these are new, $35 a piece. New speaker grills, they were destroyed anyways, and we reused these guys. Looking fantastic. When we put the seatbelts through, uh, those trims will come with it. Seems it never rains in Southern Good progress today on Steve's 03. Picked up the parcel shelf and uh, C pillars as you saw earlier. Those are reinstalled in the car. Back seats are put back together. All of that's cleaned up. My dad installed the rear window gasket. Mike removed both rear door panels, resealed the vapor barriers, replaced the door lock actuators. Now we're waiting on panel repair. These were about as bad as I've ever seen E39 door panels. Uh, anything that is glued had let go. I removed that upper panel above the wood trim all the way back to the speaker grill. To take it off completely, you've got to destroy those one-time use clips, which I believe are no longer available. So that holds it nice and tight over here, and the leather is still tight. So we left it there, hinged it open. All of that is going to re-glue overnight. And then, of course, the mat pockets are falling off as well. So we've got those gluing up with rear brake calipers, which are lighter. So I added our battery booster to that. And by the time we replace a few busted door panel clips, we will have a fully restored and ready-to-be-reinstalled door panel. The other ones over here, I don't have enough tabs or enough um, clamps to have them both go overnight. But this glue, you know, it's one of the newer sets we've seen, being an 03, but it's just coming off in tiny little pieces. Usually it's still kind of stretchy and you can grab it and pull it and it, it pulls off chunks. Not the case here. It's all just flaking apart. This car spent the majority of its life outside and that certainly shows. This panel's got some water on it. All of that will wipe right off. Um, let's see, this is the wood trim. I already pulled one piece off the other panel. Let's see if this is the uh, M5 trim. No, it's Nussbaum. Interesting, Nussbaum trim instead of um, Briarwood Club, which is a darker finish, less orange. I think I actually prefer the Nussbaum to the Briar Club, but we're replacing everything in his car with Birch Anthracite, which I have not opened yet. I'm going to do now. I need another hand to carry the box. Um, I've never seen this trim in person before. This is off of a community member's 540 MTech that he demodified and then I think sold. I don't know for what, but uh, my client wanted this trim. It was pretty expensive. Nate, I know you thought about buying it, so I'm going to crack it open now. We'll get a look at it. Interesting. It's a hint of brown, mostly dark gray. It's It looks and feels like a very high quality and more natural technical graphite. They're metal backed pieces, and these are heavy compared to anything else. Compared to Titan, it's got the same um, metal backing that the standard wood pieces do. And this is a wood, it's Burke Anthracite C8. Any production dates on this? 2003, I think. It's all in beautiful condition. It's not new, of course. There's a handful of very small imperfections. Little white chips down there. He included these extra pieces. I'm not sure why, uh, because they're on here. A little black button on the ashtray and the surround in black. It's got the tabs in the back. It's got the screw down there under the hazard switch. That's probably the worst of the damage there, and the shift boot lip will cover that. Funnily enough, the automatic, which this is out of, the automatic trim does not cover that, but the leather shift boot will just cover that up. So I won't need this. That's 100 bucks on eBay if I've ever seen it. The automatic shift lever in anthracite with leather. So that's what that button does. It shortens the length of that rod for whatever reason to unlock the gears, I suppose. Cool. I think he's going to be happy with that. Okay, trim safely tucked out of the way over here. It's been about an hour since the last clip, so I decided to stay later and prepare the other door panel. So all the glue scraped off there. It's ready to be uh, re-glued tomorrow. Did work on the back of the panel as well. Nice clean surface area there and the upper lip. And then as much as I can from back here, which is now stuck in there, but uh, all behind this leather, I scraped all the glue out of that. You can see that these vapor barriers have been leaking for a while. Pretty much par for the course on these full leather cars. They're thinner, weaker door panels. And uh, once they get water in there that just stays and has nowhere to go, 
you get some mold. It's not the end of the world. Spray it down with some anti-mold shit. Glue everything back together, seal the panels up, and don't drive them in the rain. The owner of this 07 M5 is coming tomorrow. This is a really cool car. Alpine white with, I, I don't know if it's Sepang or some sort of beige factory manual. Great condition, full leather car. Uh, we did the LCI head and tail lights on this. Let's see, we've got active seats, PDC, M dynamic mode, and heated seats. So he's got the LCI head and tails, which just look incredible. Uh, super sharp on white. And then this new, some sort of Supremo is what the tips say, but, but it says Megan Racing on the mufflers. I've never heard of that. It's a whole system from the headers back. It looks beautiful. I, I really haven't had any opportunity to drive this. I've not been on this project and that's my own fault. Um, guy lives up in Orange County, but we seem to see him about once every six to 12 months for some sort of service. Wheels need a bath though. Tomorrow we do more work on anthracite. We try to get this one in for an MPI. This one's due for an MPI. The 530 needs an MPI. Have an MPI scheduled tomorrow. Holy cow, is that a lot of work. And parts table's already overflowing with stuff. I see the boxes have fallen over. I'm gonna fix that, go home, watch the Lakers tonight. 12, 17 a.m., a clean 540. Wheels, tires, body, glass, interior, door jams, trunk jam, engine compartment, everything. That's what the last two hours has been. A little bit of smooth jazz, a little bit of country, and it looks good again. It's been several weeks, probably probably like six weeks, two months since I've gotten this thing uh, cleaned up. My shoes are squeaking. I sound like SpongeBob. I'm very tired. Uh, today was Wednesday, kind of feels like a Thursday, which is rare, but I caught a second wind after the Lakers-Suns game. Nice Lakers win. Uh, definitely a big important one. Good effort behind Austin Reeves, Anthony Davis, all the squad, and uh, this thing's clean. Really, it was the back half, the back bumper, everything down below, the waist trim, the wheels, everything was really dirty. I don't terribly care about this paint yet. I have not done any paint correction. It does not even have wax or any sort of coating on it. So it's just a matter of using uh, three or four towels to go over everything. Start at the top, work your way down. Try to be careful, but get things cleaned up and it's shiny again. So I'm happy about that. I'm going inside, I'm going to bed. It was a long day. Uh, we've got two more this week in Thursday and Friday uh, before the weekend. So uh, 1X, you get a lot more clarity. Hopefully they fix that on the next iPhone. Talk to you guys tomorrow on Thursday. Good night.